Hey guys, welcome back to Triple L Rustic Designs. In this video, we're gonna be hanging these eco luminal lights in the pole barn over the sawmill. Check it out. All right, so we're here at our sawmill and we're standing underneath our pole barn. We've been wanting to install some lights in our pole barn so that way we can run the sawmill at nighttime. We were lucky enough that a company called Ecoluminal reached out to us and wanted to send us some of their string light products. They ended up sending over one 100 foot long string lights and two 48 foot long string lights. The two different string lights are a little bit different and you'll get to see that here in a second. But the good thing about Ecoluminal is they offer really energy saving string lights. Whereas an example, this bulb only takes one watt of energy versus the competition takes about 11 watts of energy. So not only are these extremely energy saving, they also seem to be high quality. So for the 100 foot long string lights, it's gonna be $50. And for the two 48 foot sections of string lights, they're gonna be $80. I'll include links to the products in the description below. And if you wanna see any of the specs and details behind it, just head over to those links. So we're gonna get these string lights hung up here in our pole barn so that way we'll be able to run the sawmill at night. I'll explain a little bit more of what we're gonna do while we're working. Let's go. All right, so the pole barn is about 25 feet long and 15 feet deep. So we're gonna run this 100 foot string lights all along the inside perimeter of the pole barn. And the two 48 foot string lights, we're gonna run back and forth on the inside, which will give us plenty of light for our sawmill. Right, we're gonna start off with the 100 foot string lights first. These string lights have clips on the back of them, so we'll be able to clip them on a little string. So the first thing we're gonna do is hang a string along the inside perimeter of the pole barn and then go back later and then clip them in. So we've got our string completely hung around the inside perimeter of the pole barn. So now we can take out our 100 foot string lights, install all the bulbs, and then we'll string them all the way around. All right, so we got the entire 100 foot string light strung around the inside perimeter of this pole barn. We're gonna plug it in now and see if it works. Moment of truth. That first 100 foot strand of string lights turned out great. I can't wait to see it at nighttime. Now we're gonna run the two 48 footers back and forth across and that should give us tons of light when it gets dark out. This time we're not gonna put the bulbs in them because the bulbs seem pretty delicate and it was kind of sketchy dragging them across the ground. Also, these don't have the clips, but they have little holes. So we're gonna screw these at the top of the boards on the top of the pole barn. Okay, so just from looking at these, they look super durable, and the packaging for these ones and the 100 footers, they're completely waterproof. 
So that should be good hanging them outside here in the rain. All right, so like Zoe was saying, these 48 foot lights don't have the little clips like the 100 footers do. They actually have little holes that you can put a screw through. So this will work out perfect. I'm gonna basically run them across the rafters all the way down the whole pole barn. And that way they'll dangle and hang and create a bunch of light at nighttime. We just finished hanging those 48 foot string lights back and forth across the pole barn. I'm gonna turn it on now and see if it works. Moment of truth. Oh man. All right. It looks like some of the light bulbs aren't screwed in tight enough. So I'm gonna get back up there and crank them down. As you can see behind me, we just got finished hanging the eco luminal string lights. What we did was take the 100 foot set and string it all the way around the perimeter of the pole barn. And then we took the two 48 footers and we strung them back and forth along the rafters on the roof. I'm really excited for it to get dark outside to come see what this looks like. I wanna give a big thanks to eco luminal for sending us these lights. This is gonna be really good for our shop because now we'll be able to run the sawmill at nighttime. So as soon as that sun goes down, we're going to come out here and show you what it looks like, and that'll wrap up this video. Guys, the sun went down and look how much light these eco-luminal string lights are giving off on top of our sawmill. We can actually saw logs at night now because of eco-luminal. I want to give a big thank you to eco-luminal for sending us these string lights. If you guys are in the market for some outdoor lights that are waterproof, energy efficient, and durable, click the link in the description below where you can see all the details and order these lights off Amazon. Guys, if you like this video, make sure you smash that like button. It really helps out our channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe for our future videos. We'll see you on the next one.